Hello again. Okay, this is lesson one, and we're just going to sort out our kit that we can take out with us. Now, I want to do this in oil, and I want to do it on a nice sort of small scale. So, if you wanted to go out and work in watercolor, there are so many kits around, so many little little watercolor sets. They're just a few dollars or a few pounds. Get yourself one of those. But if you want to take it to the oil level, you might want to get yourself something a bit bigger. This is just an ordinary cigar box. You could even use one of those if you wanted and had nothing else. This is a little painting box that is a virtually a cigar box, but I've put some string here so that when it opens, it stays at a certain angle so that you can paint. And that works really well. Um, back in the day, they used to use these. This was, if you're lucky, uh, this is an, a Julian easel, it's called. They're huge things, but they're fantastic. They open up beautifully and they allow you to work um, on a large scale out in the field, but we're not going to work on a large scale. So instead, I got myself one of these, and I think this is a fantastic piece of equipment. You open this up, and just here you can tighten it on this bracket. And that means it stays at a nice angle to paint. And the idea is you paint on this part, and there's your palette. And this slides open, and all your paints and brushes are inside. It's that simple. And it means all you're carrying around is a little box. Um, let's go through it. The palette, um, it, it comes in this sort of, as a piece of wood. I don't really like the wooden palette so much. Something about them I don't, I don't like. So I've attached a piece of white acrylic to it. It's because partly, this is how I work in the studio, it's a, a larger piece of white acrylic and it gives me that same sense of mixing the paints and that, that same feel. Um, so I've done that, it's just a small adjustment. In terms of the boards that I'm working on, you can buy boards, that, there are boards that are all sort of shapes and sizes and they're not terribly expensive, but um, I get little pieces of wood like this and I can get 9, 12 boards out of one of these. It just means measuring carefully, cutting carefully, sanding, priming two or three times, sanding again. I don't mind all that because um, I, I just th feel you get that sense of ownership of your own artwork and to, to start from scratch I think makes a lot of sense. So I tend to do it. I've done it here. These are the boards that I've prepared. The the painting box only accepts two inside these guides, but that's also fine. Um, next, paints. The paints I have are red, yellow and blue. Those are our three primaries. A raw umber, which is obviously a great base colour, but also a useful colour to have in itself. And a white and a near black. The near black I use is called Bitumen of Judea and it's a beautiful colour. As regards brushes, I have four. I only use square-ended brushes, not the, not the rounds, just the square ones. It's just a preference. I like this. I like the way it, it angles the painting and keeps them simple. And I also have this one. This is a, a favourite of mine. It's a, a, a brush I use for my paintings. And as I say, I'm a detail person and I don't think I'll be able to resist using this. I'm going to try, but I can't promise. Um, you also will need a rag. They call it the painter's best friend. Um, have that with you. I always have tissue roll with me because I have hay fever when I go outside, but I shouldn't need it in the studio. As regards the medium, um, I'm not taking any linseed oil with me. I want, I want us to just work with white spirit or turpentine. It just means it dries faster, it keeps you uh, flexible, um, fast, mobile. It, it's just a better way, I think, to get going in the field. So just a little jar of white spirit. Unfortunately, it won't fit inside this. I can't quite get it to work. So I'll have to carry that separately. But that is pretty much everything that I need. Okay, all we need now uh, is to start doing some painting. So get yourself some kind of box um, from a cigar box to a fancy box like this one um, and then we'll start with a we'll probably start with a still life okay in the studio because it's still freezing outside